Hi everybody and welcome back to How to Tune the Piano Part 2. Since my previous video How to Tune the Piano DIY, I've got plenty of nice feedback questions and comments. And here we can see a selection of those comments. All Tangweni wrote, this is the fastest and clearest piano tuning explanation in YouTube. The Amazing Ariel, this still works for a 203 year old upright. And DRG wrote, this is the best DIY teaching of piano tuning for me. Thanks so much. Thank you. And I'm so happy and proud of all of those who finally took their courage to tune their pianos. And it's actually not that big of a deal as long as you have the right tools and some patience. And today in How to Tune the Piano Part 2, I want to answer some of those questions that you had on the previous video. So let's take the tour. Right, question one. How do you go about tuning the upper range where there is uh, little space between uh, the tuning hammer and the dampeners? My advice here is that you uh, use the tuning felt on the left side of the strings, on the first string. And uh, you bend the tuning felt like this and push it in there. And push it down a little bit so it's, uh, it gets out of the way of the tuning hammer. Then we use the tuning clamp because uh, it's much smaller and we can attach it to the upper side like this and dampen the third string so we can tune the middle string. You can also use your finger to dampen the third string or attach the clamp at the lower side. That also works. Now for tuning the higher range of the piano, I advise you to uh, use the tuning felt on both sides to dampen string one and string three. And you need to push down the tuning felt a lot more, so both sides of the tuning felt is lower than the hammer hits on, on the piano strings. So here we can effectively tune the middle string. And then just release the strap for the left side. And tune those strings together. And then finally release the, the third strap and tune that the third string to, those, uh, to the first two strings. Next question. Right, someone asked me if it's possible to use something else besides uh, a dedicated uh, the piano tuning felt strap. And yes, definitely, you can use uh, any type of uh, uh, wool cloth material as long as it's uh, soft and maybe just to uh, cut up some old uh, t-shirt or something. But uh, definitely, just use any type of soft wool and you should be fine. As long as you cut it so, so it's uh, small and, and fit with, with the piano strings. Now someone also asked me if it's possible to replace the piano tuning hammer with uh, maybe just a regular wrench. But uh, I believe that uh, you don't get the right amount of torque or the right amount of strength to, uh, to tune the piano strings with just a regular wrench. So I definitely and highly recommend it to go and grab uh, a dedicated piano tuning hammer so you get the, the correct torque too. And I mean if you need to tune the piano every year it's going to be a huge uh, cost saving if you just go ahead and buy the piano tuning kit rather than hiring a piano tuning expert. I'm not an expert by any means but uh, I mean I could tune my piano just fine and many of you could do that too. Right so that's all for this uh, piano tuning part 2. If you have any further questions or want to write some kind of feedback or comments, write them in the comment section to this video. Thanks for watching today and thanks again to everybody who contacted me on the previous video. I hope you liked this one, please let me know what you think, see you in the next one. Now you can continue and watch my next episode. Right, see you in the next one. Bye!